I want to draw your attention here to our text features. Now, text features, Brody, is that important parts of the story in a different way. And I really want you to look at the text features that have to do with different types of type or print. And they can show different types of emphasis for important parts of your story. Now, we can have bold face. We can have capital letters in a story. We can have italics, large and small print, and we can have color. Now, I want to talk to you about italics. Our story has different italicized letters. And italicized letters in a story can show foreign words. Does our story have that? Yes. Yes. And we are going to be looking for that in our story. So, boys and girls, those are important in the story, and there's something that we should be paying attention to. So we're going to be looking for that in the story today. We're going to be focused on that. Now, illustrations can also help readers understand ideas in the text. The illustrations are important, so when we're looking and reading our story, we should not be ignoring the illustrations. You should not just be kind of going, kind of glancing past those. You should be looking at the illustrations. You should be paying attention to those graphic features. They are there for a reason. They're not just there to look pretty. So, what we're going to be looking for is we're going to be looking for the different types of type. The type we're talking about how they've written the let or written the words in our story. So we're going to be looking for that. We're going to be looking for different types of writing in the story, how they presented the, the text features. So let's turn to pages 176 and 177 in our story. That's what we're looking for in the storyteller's handle. children filled the story room. Miss Belle Prey welcomed them with a smile. Benvenidos, welcome, she said. The storyteller's candle was lit, and soon the story began. Había una vez y dos son tres en Puerto Rico. Once upon a time in Puerto Rico, Miss Belle Prey told a story that Hildemar and Santiago had heard from their grandmother about a beautiful Spanish cockroach named Martina and a gallant little mouse, Ratoncito Perez. The story ended with a wave of applause. Now, close your eyes and make a wish, whispered Ms. Belpre. We'll blow out the storyteller's candle and your wish will come true. The children closed their eyes tight and wished when the children opened their eyes, Ms. Belle Prey made a special announcement. El Dia de los Reyes, Three Kings Day, is coming. This year, we want to have a big fiesta at the library with a play, dances, and a parade. The play will be the story of Perez and Martina. Who wants to be in the play? Santiago raised his hand. I want to help, he called. I want to help too, the others chimed in. Santiago was chosen to be Ratoncito Perez. Hildemar raised her hand. Her heart was beating fast when Ms. Belpre picked her to play the most important part, Cucarachita Martina. We have the cast of characters, said Ms. Belpre, but we will also need costumes, music, and a stage. Gallant. If you are gallant, you are thoughtful and very brave. Chime. If you chimed in, you said something to agree with what someone else said. Okay, so boys and girls, I hope you are looking for the different text features. 
features that we have in our story are on this page, and I hope that you are looking at the illustrations because that's important. When we're going to be really looking at those right now, we're going to be analyzing both those things. So let's turn and let's look at our questions that we have to answer on our page. So boys and girls, what story details does the illustration help you understand? So look at the illustration in your book. And what story details does the illustration help you understand? Amelia? What the, what the storyteller's candle looks like. And so, Nina, you mentioned that it tells us, it shows us that it shows us what the inside of the library looks like. And we get to see that the kids are, have their eyes closed. So we get to see those details as well. And that kind of answers our second question there. What details does the illustration include that are not in the text? And you mentioned that as well. So let's write those details as well because that answers our second question. So it shows. what the inside of the library looks like. We see the puppet stage and the, the children. And so, our next question says, one moment in the story does the illustration show? 
What's going on there? What are we seeing? Think it's that um that they're um making like they're Miss Belpray saying that we're going they're going to have King's Day there and then the sh and then um then um there, she's going to tell that story for the King's Day and make us a uh, a play about it. Yes, and what are the children getting ready to do? Um, shall we do it? um to um um get like make the stage and here look at the children. What are they doing? Okay. They're getting ready to make a wish. Yes, the children are getting ready to make the wish. Okay, so let's write that. They are closing their eyes to make a wish. So the illustrations are telling, are showing things that are going on in the story that are not necessarily that we're getting to see. And boys and girls, we're getting to see them in their old-fashioned clothes. So we're getting to see a lot of things. 